Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another short but exciting development update here in Microsoft Flight Simulator for the Fly-by-Wire A32NX. The Fly-by-Wire team continue to push the boundaries of this amazing freeware aircraft and it is certainly by far the best freeware aircraft that has been made for any version of any flight simulator ever produced. All of the updates then and new features mentioned in this video are currently exclusive to the experimental version of the Fly-by-Wire. As well as improving the aircraft, the developers of Fly-by-Wire have also now released something called SimBridge. Now SimBridge is an application that runs in the background and it is an external app that enables the Fly-by-Wire simulations aircraft to communicate outside of your simulator. That means things like remote displays, the new terrain display rendering system which we're going to see shortly and a lot of other features that are soon to come. Now, in order to take advantage of these new features, you need to go ahead and make sure that you have downloaded the latest Fly-by-Wire installer from the Fly-by-Wire website. Once that's done, simply run the install file and let it install to your PC. You'll know that you've got the latest version because down here at the bottom left, you'll now see something called SimBridge, which you'll then have to go and install as well. This is done quite easily, of course, just by hitting the green install button you can see here at the bottom right hand side of the application. Following the on-screen prompts will get this installed to your community folder. Once that is installed, it will ask you if you want to turn auto start on or disable it. Basically, this is self-explanatory. At the moment, I've got it turned off, but you can easily access the app again to get it turned back on, whether you're running it automatically or whether you're running it manually yourself. One of the big new features then is the addition to the ground screen and that is the payload option here on the EFB. With this payload option then, what you can do is not only import all of the weights of the passengers etc from your Simbri flight plan that you used to be able to do but once you've done that and you get them loaded in you can actually see how the aircraft is filled out where the passengers are all sat for example. You can see and also edit and amend the passengers and the cargo that are shown on the EFB. So you can go ahead and uh, type into those so you can set those yourself. Or of course, if you are using SimReef, you can simply just download that instantly and it will start to fill it out. Obviously, just for the purposes of this tutorial, I have the loading time set to instant, but obviously for a little bit more realism, you can set that to real. One of the really nice features, and my apologies for having the mouse cursor turned off for this section, is you can actually Actually go through and click on each of the individual seats so if you just look now I'm starting to uh, remove the passengers from the uh, the back of the uh, of the aircraft in a moment and as we do that have a look at the flight envelope on the bottom right hand side as I'm removing the weights of the passengers from the back you can see that the flight envelope parameters you I'm, go, I'm going to basically remove all the passengers so I have a, a forward heavy aircraft and you can take it outside of its uh, permitted flight envelope so there we are now we uh, we wouldn't be allowed to take off with uh, with this loading of the uh, of the passengers so I think this is a really nice little feature when you would use it of course I'm not entirely sure but let's say for example if you'd got a regulated takeoff weight and you were overweight you could literally hand pick the passengers that you were going to offload if you were too heavy getting out of somewhere with a short runway somewhere like Jersey for example. The new SimBridge feature also means that as soon as you load into the A32NX, the McDo server is automatically connected. No longer do you need to run that manually. You'll see as well that the little inop sticker sat underneath the terrain radar has been uh, scratched away as though it's been there far too long and of course the terrain radar now works. Here we are sat at Innsbruck looking out to the valley on uh, runway 08. So obviously we can see this seems to be working really nicely. Taking off from Innsbruck then and we can see there are actually six different colours depicted on the terrain display. Black is shown at more than 2,000 feet below your aircraft. Light green is less than 1,000 feet below your aircraft. And then we have patches of dark green, which is between 1,000 feet and 500 feet variable below your current altitude. 
The next then is a low density yellow color and that is terrain which is up to 1000 feet above your current elevation. After that we have the high density yellow color which is above 1000 feet and up to 2000 feet above your aircraft and anything in red is 2000 feet above your current aircraft's altitude. The departure here from Innsbruck shows this working really nicely with the terrain colours bleeding off from red to black as we climb above the terrain. And if we just have a look at this with the video sped up, you'll see exactly what I mean. So a huge well done to the Fly By Wire team for bringing this into the A32NX, a much sought after feature. And of course, once the developers from Azoba open up the weather radar, I'm almost certain we'll start to see that get implemented in due course. Another thing that's also currently active now in the experimental version of the uh, mod is that there is an option to pause at the top of descent in the EFB. So obviously if you turn this on, it does exactly what it says on the tin. However, there are occasions that if you've not got an accurate top of descent point marked because you haven't set up your flight plan correctly, then this of course will not work. But it shows the development that the guys are doing and their determination to make this A32NX as close as possible mirroring the real world aircraft. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the progress of the Fly By Wire team and the A32 and X and what other features you'd like to see implemented soon. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do give it a like. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any more future videos and live streamed content. Thanks so much. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.